Hi guys, welcome back to Live Like Glow. I am so excited to be here with you guys today. We have like so much stuff that uh, we just have to catch up on. Like I feel like spirit called me in for the tea. My hair and stuff was like, whoa, okay, let's do a reading girl. And I was like, you already know what we are about to do. So let me go ahead and lift up the desk and let's get started, okay? So big speaking today, I feel like this reading is going to be a lot more about authenticity okay um stepping into who you believe you sh who you should be and understanding that that is a tiny bit different than who your authentic self is some of you have been trying to step into this should but have been uh misstepping making mistakes doing things wrong but the wrong feels good. And that's because you are shifting from doing things the way you thought they should be done to doing the things that you know should be done, that you are doing intuitively that feel wrong, but they're right. Does that make sense? I hope that that makes sense. So let's get into it today. I am super excited. Um, and you guys know, like my collective messages are timeless, but I want to pull today from our tarot decks so let me reorganize our table with our cards now i feel like these two decks want to come through and my mama card came out santa barbara so she may be important to you guys um santa barbara i have always used her um when working with um shango and i have one always like within my card deck because um he was one of the orishas that kind of helped me step out of like my scared place and put myself out there when i was really scared to you know speak of my truth and go into my authentic place so yeah all right so i'm super excited guys just like the vibes okay this deck feels so good and it's ready to talk i just have to shuffle the cards just a little bit and then we're gonna get started the reason why i want to shuffle a little is just to put the energy i'm feeling into the cards um okay I give thanks to the creator for being present. I am that I am. The ancient of days, the ancient I am. The son of days, the now I am. And the future of days, the sister I am. So, the future I am. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Um. I want to first call for the I, the I am that I am, the ancient of days. <laughs> I want to first call for the ancient of days. Um, thank you for being present and watching over all of us, extending us your grace. I call forth the sun of days, that which is now, that keep us in our present moment and ascending to our Christ-like consciousness. I call forth the sister of days, that of the future, what we can look out for and see what is coming forth. I thank all the Orisha, the Loa, and any deities, and the Netaru and the Netir for coming through today. I am so grateful for the land spirits being present and I am internally grateful for the gen to be present as well. If there are any other spirits of the light and the dark of highest good may come through me at this time. So it is. So now that I kind of feel like the Shango energy, I feel like some of you are getting this inspiration. This inspiration now. And it feels very like what do i do okay i had some that fell on the floor um so here we go we have these three and i want to get one more just see what they have for us 
Okay, we gave us two. Okay, so let's look at these cards first before we move on. We have the void, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic loom. Wait, it's not yet time. Things are being woven, baby steps, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. Inner earth, you'll survive this, new solutions and beginnings. Blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation and integration time. What I'm getting from the cards that we have here, especially with this Shango energy here, this is straight up giving. It's right now you're rebirthing, right? And it's getting a little bit frustrating because it's like you want to, but then it's like slap back. The ancestors are like, no, bitch, get, get your shit together. Okay, get your shit together. We're not doing that right now. We need you to kind of like chill. Just, you know, just take a little... Take a little chill pill, okay? Take, take a little take, take a little chill pill, okay? Because right now, I feel like spirit is coming to you and saying, you are reforming the version of you. I feel like you've ascended, you've timeline shifted, you've timeline jumped. Um, and this has happened maybe over the last 30 days. So some of you have either in the past 30 days have been um, coming into and like solidifying solidifying your um your foundation in this new timeline and others of you have just stepped into the new timeline and are getting used to kind of you're still a little bit disoriented okay i'm telling you when you hop up into a new timeline and shit starts going your way you get disoriented because you're like whoa whoa bitch i was just going through a whole bunch of shit and all of that shit i was keeping on my mind exactly where i'm at now but i'm not really i don't know I'm happy, but I don't know if I'm ready to be where I'm at, but I'm ready because I'm all I'm here, obviously. But uh, what do I do now? Right. And it's like, ooh. <laughs> ooh, it's time to rest. Right. So you had some of you who've just gotten here. You'll start this process. But those of you who have already been here for about 30 days, you just came out of a rest period right? There's about a two to three week rest period where you're resting, but you're also gathering information. Now you're about to hit the soul gather. So what I call the soul gather, when we have this wait card here, it says not yet time, things are being woven. What's happening is you're getting into alignment, what your next manifestations are now that you've gotten here. You're getting into alignment all the things that you understand who are you right now and what was the version of you that you had visualized when you were coming into this space right does that make sense like when you were like picturing yourself in this space are you that full person now or are there parts of you missing and not to say like you're not whole but like are there pieces to the puzzle that still aren't present and are you having to wait for those to show up or are you having to set goals to understand it didn't take those things for you to get here, but it might take those things for you to get to your next space. Does that make sense? Um, also, right now, the universe is preparing you. So your ancestors are bringing through information, right? Your deities are bringing through information. Everybody is bringing information to you for you to digest, for you to understand, okay, these are the tools that you're going to need to take forward into this new thing that you're about to create or this new idea, this new realm, this new life that you're about to set a foundation and build on, right? So baby steps. Spirit is saying, take action but take action on intuitive nudges don't don't start logicking yourself into this because logic didn't fucking get you here intuition got you here you need to stay consistent right with your intuition now that you've kind of like taken the time to really sit down uh, let me show you guys what this looks like and it's like you're sitting at the gate trying to figure out like, OK, for a while you were, you know, you were resting at the gate, right? You were resting. You see that you're resting at this gate. And now you're at it and you're saying, OK, I just walked through. What do I do now? And you're looking back to see everything that you need. But when you walk through that motherfucker, you are going to see everything that you want is starting to show up, right? Everything that you want is starting to show up. 
And then as soon as you get comfortable enough in this space to start moving around and you walk through this space, you're coming into that blue flame. You're going to get an activation of the blue flame. I feel like some of you have maybe been initiated into a few of the cosmic flames, the seven, um, the seven rays or the seven powers. For some of you, whenever you start a very mystical journey, when you start working with certain energies, they start to bring you in and you'll work with one energy at a time to start to understand how to integrate them into yourself and becoming more whole as a as a spiritual being and more authentic because each one um, emphasizes a certain part of yourself that you have to heal you have to integrate you have to love and you have to develop okay so i feel like right now you're at taking these little baby steps but you need to also understand that there's a part of you that fears what comes next it almost feels scary like you're not good enough or you won't be able to survive you won't be able to thrive in this new space that you're in but that is all an illusion okay all of that is an illusion you have all the tools because you went through the void okay you stood at the door you waited you got all the tools that you needed you get all the knowledge everything that you need to move forward you set your goals you understand what you don't have but you know how to work with what you got now it's time to work with what you fucking got does that make sense? But don't be trying to work too fucking fast. Some of y'all are have been having little things that uproot into your life. That is to shift the energy and to show you how you've changed, right? So recently I had a situation where my car started to malfunction and I needed to take it to the dealer, but my partner also needed to go get his car fixed. So then we were both out of cars and we we're like, well, what are we gonna do? Cause we need to get around, right? But I was grateful that we were a little bit more lucrative than we were before. So we were able to just get a rental car, which is something maybe two, three years ago we wouldn't have been able to do. And in that process, also having the peace of mind to delaying the process, not trying to like hurry up and fucking do some shit and then getting yourself in a predicament where you're stressed out. But it's like spreading it out, being able to think about it, being able to kind of figure out what it is that you need to do and then executing on that slower so that you can not be as stressed. Do you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is, from that being a one day process and then a stressful two days, it went from a three day process of less stress. Does that make sense? It was not stressful at all. It was just, let's talk it out. Let's figure out what we can do. Okay, we can do this, let's execute on it. And it was so much easier. I want you guys to take that as an example of what you can do where are you trying to do and what do you see in your life that's giving you little bitty hiccups okay those hiccups are going to allow you to stair step your way up into um into stabilizing yourself into the timeline and it feels like why the fuck is the rug being ripped under me after i've gotten so far and these things are within my grasp and blah blah, blah. it's like hold on baby hold on get your shit together we're almost there, right? The blue flame. In this card, I feel like you're about to enter some type of um, knowledge realm. Like you're going to get a whole new level of knowledge and spirit is trying to fill in your gaps, okay? So let's see. I want to pull from the... I think this is the... the um, the starseed oracle y'all no this is the light language oracle i remember now <laughs> okay so wellness is the one that fell out on the floor let's see soul's journey so we got soul's journey here and it's it's like giving like you're walking into a doorway create space meditation and joy okay what i feel is coming right now is you needed to take some time to focus on your health and your health goals for some of y'all like the goals that you had thinking about like you know maybe your body or maybe you've been feeling a little bit lethargic tired fatigued etc i feel like spirit right now is 
had allowed you time when you were resting to take care of your body, to do your self-care, to love on yourself, to give your body rest. Um, especially if you guys are coming out of the winter like me, but you know, might be watching this a different time of year. Um, the soul's journey. Okay. So a lot of you are still in this, um, in this hero's journey idea and spirit wants you to understand that there is no race. There is nothing where you have to hurry up and get something done. It's, it's not necessary, right? You don't need to hurry up and get anything done because the fact of the matter is it's a journey, right? And as soon as you hit a destination, what you're going to do, you're going to stay for a little while. You're going to figure it out. And then you're going to be like, okay, these are my next goals. And that might have you go on to a completely different journey in a completely different direction, right? So enjoy the process process of you getting from point A to point B, from B to C, C to D, E to F, okay, and all the way to Z, you are enjoying the journey, keeping your peace, your mind, etc. Also, create space. Right now, spirit is removing anything that is residual from the past that is going to become a blockage if you don't get that shit together, okay? If you don't get it together, there is going to be blockages and there's not also going to be enough space for you to receive what you need so right now spirit is removing everything that is hindering you and i feel like that's both people situations ideas within you mindsets um blockages like personal interpersonally and um etc right and then joy okay so spirit wants you to learn how to be joyous without having things or without having your goals meant being able to have joy in the process and meditation is going to help you meditation and focusing on your wellness are going to help you cultivate joy because you can be joyous at any time anything can make you happy anything could make you excited make you grateful right but there's a certain type of mindset that has to be cultivated within this idea in order for you to create this type of peace in your life without a whole bunch of stuff, okay? And spirit is really honing in on this stuffism and that even though you're going to get the stuff, it's not like this stuff isn't coming, but it's like you need to understand that you don't need this stuff to be happy. You don't need it, period. You don't need it, but you still going to get it. But it's like, by the time you get it, you're going to be like, it's just stuff. Like, I'm glad I got it, but it's stuff. Like, okay, on to the next thing, right? And that's really what spirit wants from you is just to see that your own progression, your own journey, the, your own like beautiful stuff that you have um, in your life that's not tangible is so much more valuable than, you know, where you're at right now. Okay. Higher selves, um, ancestors, archangels, give us the messages for the collective. What are the personals that they need today? Let's get into it. Okay. I like to open these up this way. And tell us, how are they going to move out of this situation? And that one. And I want one more, please. Okay. So we're going to leave these here as I read these. So the first thing, guys, is that you have the magician and the temperance in reverse these two things need to be turned up right okay for a while you were not embracing your power not embracing who you are not going the mile going the distance for what matters to you and who you're supposed to be right and in the temperance we're supposed to be creating balance right we're not supposed to be shooting off into this direction shooting off into that direction trying to hurry up and make a little money trying to hurry up and do some shit trying to hurry up and then just wait because we got there too fucking fast or we missed a couple lessons so now we gotta ride back over there pick that shit up and then go right so spirit is like slow down bitch because you're leaving parts of your power behind 
because you're hurrying up through life. Like, yes, there's treacherous bitches out here that you got to avoid. But at this current moment, spirit is saying you can avoid them with grace without like rushing through a process because a lot of the time when you do that, you leave the lesson behind. And so make sure you're getting that lesson before you get the fuck out of Dodge. Does that make sense? Also, a lot of you need to start understanding that you're creating your reality with your words. Like some of y'all um, don't understand that. And then it's like you're creating turmoil in your life. I like that little bear. Isn't he cute? Okay. I don't waste the water all over myself. Okay. So I feel like also with the temperance, like you're not the whole fast, fast, fast thing. It has to go. Okay. It has to go. This seven, the seven of wands, like you've done so much. I feel like people have been trying to come up against you for a while and you're just tired of being the long, the lone wolf. But at this point, it being in the reverse, it's time for you to defend your fucking self in a way that says, I love myself. No longer going out and trying to prove your worth to people, but you saying, this is a fucking waste of my time. I'm more worthy than the shit that you're putting me through instead of pretending that it doesn't exist. Does that mean that makes sense? Like some of y'all have just been like, lolly, lolly, la, like, fuck you, bitch. I'm not, I don't see it, but you need to see it so that you can understand what to do, whether you're going to pray about it, you're going to work your magic or whatever it is. It needs to be, I'm done with it. Return it to sender, whatever. Wipe your hands with it. Tell the ancestors to handle it. Tell the Orisha to handle it. Tell whoever they else they need to handle it. But it's not, I'm ignoring it. It's, I see it. I see what's happening and I'm going to make this move to counteract that. And at that moment, you will create a tower moment. That tower moment will literally cut the head off. That's going to be it. Spirit is like, okay, that timeline is over. Slice and dice. And now you have the opportunity and so does the tree to um, create new branches of reality from that cutoff. Now that tree, even though it's on fire right now, it's not going to burn forever and it can continue to put out branches in other directions. And then it creates more prolific growth throughout the tree without that top being there. Does that make sense? And you have the ability to create that also. Spirit wants you to understand this father of cups, you are going to master your emotions. But I also feel that there is a man or a I feel like this is a man, a father figure, a friend, someone who you look up to, someone that you admire. And this person is um, also coming into your life as you're coming into emotional maturity. This person is seeing you for who you truly are. And as you are making these shifts through the tower, and they are going to point out little things and it's not intentional it's not like they're coming in they're like this 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 is wrong with you no they are coming in and they're seeing how you're still sabotaging yourself and little things that they say to you give you little bits and nuggets to kind of help you unravel this stuff and move it out the way so that you can stop doing it but then you have this right here where you're resting you're resting on things that you need to get rid of OK, and this this little cunning bullshit that your inner child has been doing, it's over. It's over this this right here. It's over. There's no more of this spirit is like all of this is going bye bye. And you're going to have to turn this ace of wands correct. And the reason why is because spirit is saying right now you don't feel like doing anything. These cards give, I don't feel like doing a motherfucking thing. I'm about to lay down. I'm about to do whatever. I'm about to doom scroll on my phone. Like, I'm not about to do anything. But it's like, it's not because you don't want to. It's because you don't feel like it. And forcing yourself through it even creates even more resistance for yourself, right? And spirit has some advice for you, okay? So right here... We have the 10 of wands or the 10 of sticks, right? Then we have the sun and then we have the devil. 
So what I want you to understand is some of y'all had like some major downfalls in the last, like in the past. And it was, it was fucking rough. You was like, bitch, I'm in the dark. I'm in the dark, but now you're in the sun, but it still feels like you're in the dark. You're, you were in bright darkness, shrouded. No one could see who you are. They couldn't see, you know, what you were about. They couldn't see the true you. So at a time you felt less and less and less like the real you, like you started to question yourself. Like, am, am I really the person that I think I am? Am I really moving like how I think I'm moving? Am I really that A, B, C, D type person? Because it just seems like nobody in the world sees me the way that I see. And it became that way for a reason. And that allowed you to cultivate yourself in this heartbreak, in this darkness where everybody it felt like was against you. And now spirit is saying, baby, you have walked out of this. You have gotten and detangled yourself out of this stuff and you've walked into the sun, but you still not realized it yet. You're still thinking about what happened in the past, in the dark, where you were being navigated through treacherous spots, treacherous places in your life. And spirit is like, babe, we have heard your cries. We have heard your messages. We have heard everything that you have desired. And we have brought it to you. But the devil card is saying, this is an illusion. It's an illusion that you have not progressed. It's an illusion that you have not stepped up into this space because the shackles on your mind of the darkness of that space that was dark, that was trifling that had all these little things happening that was constraint in your finances that was constraint in your business that was constraint on your relationship that was constraint on your career all of those shackles have been broken but the shackles on your mind the beliefs the ideas that you created based on those events is still on your mind but you have all the keys. Does that make sense? And it's time for you to start looking at where in my life am I, now that the cause is gone, where am I creating the resistance? And it gets frustrating because it's like, oh my God, like, what do you mean? Take responsibility for yourself right now. That's what I mean. Take responsibility for your actions right now. That's what I mean. When you say I can't do A, B, and C because I don't know A, B, and C, D person because I need someone to get me into this space, that means that you've blocked it and you said, I have no power in the situation and therefore I can't go for it. Because my, my power in this situation will not take me where I need to go. I need to use someone else's power. So now you're giving your power away to create a situation in which you would meet the right person to take you into the right environment. Does that make sense? Even every time that you go into a new area of thinking, a new energy, you're going to meet a gatekeeper, someone who is going to show you that you can't survive in this. But that's just an illusion because you're already there surviving their own energy, surviving them, giving you blockages that they have themselves about the opposite because you are the doorway for them to go where you just came from. Does that make sense? Sometimes people will block you because they don't want to go where you just went to learn that lesson because they haven't finished learning the lesson where they at. But look, it's not your job. <laughs> That's not your job to give them the lesson of where they at. Your job is to let them know that they need to hurry the fuck up while you walk around their ass and get to where you need to go. Does that make sense? Okay, guys, I don't know what happened, but the other camera cut off. So I hope that we figured something out with that. Okay. I feel like once you get rid of this deceptiveness, and I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people around you who are trying to confuse you. 
There was a lot of karmic people. There are karmic people in your life right now that when you came into this new beginning, they came back into your life to try to drag you back into the energy of the past. But there's there, you're at the point of no return. You've already crossed the line. You can't go back. Yeah, they can put the feelings up there so that you can recreate the past now, but that's not an option because your ancestors not having it and they're going to slap that shit out your face. Like, bitch, get your shit together, okay? It's like one of those, like when somebody's like, we're never going to be able to, we just can't do it. We just, it'll never happen. And then somebody just slap the shit out of them. Like, get your mind together, stupid. <laughs> like, it's like, are you crazy? Are you done being crazy? Snap out of it snap out of it right now that's done <laughs> and it's like oh like it's like you just got slapped hard as fuck and spirit is like bitch don't fucking try me i didn't put hella work to get you to where you at get your ass up and handle your shit okay so right now i'm gonna pull from my marvel oracle where are you babes and we're going to see what is the superpower that you're about to tap into right now. Yes. Okay. All right. Spirit, tell us what is the superpower that the collective is about to tap into today? What is the superpower? Okay. Let's see. So we have Cherie. It's something, if something is broken, make it better. Okay, so if something isn't working, it's because it needs improvement. If something isn't working, make it better. Jubilee, be bright, be fearless, even in the dark. Ghost Rider, vengeance will be mine. Squirrel Girl, when the wilderness calls, I listen. Valkyrie, you can because you must. And the last one is the runaways. What are we left with? I feel like the what you are getting in this is spirit wants you to know that whatever you feel like is broken about you that isn't working. If there's things in your life that you're trying to fix that aren't perfect, it's okay. Like spirit is like, you are a work in progress, bitch. Get used to that shit. You are going to constantly get better. This woman, she looks like an android, right? She has an android arm. It's like, well, if she lost her arm, now she has a prosthetic that could really be like a superpower. That's just about to ch -ch and make something happen. You know what I'm talking about? She couldn't shoot plasma bullets before, but now she can. Spirit is saying, make the things that feel like a cripple, a disabler, and make it work for you. Make it work. And they're saying, with time, you will learn techniques. You will learn different things that will help you mix and match to make it fit together right and to improve the way that you approach things. Now, with the Jubilee, I feel like with this card, this is about understanding that no matter where the fuck you're at, you are fucking chosen, bitch. You literally have the light that people are jealous of. People around you are looking at how bright you are without even trying and they get fucking mad because they're like, why the fuck can they do that? Why can they do that? I can't do that. Why I got to try so motherfucking hard? Why I got to depend on all these motherfuckers to get some shit done? And it's just because that's the way you fucking are. They not that. They can't be like that. They can't have that, but you got it. You got it. Do you see what I'm saying? You got the it factor and spirit is like, stop acting like everybody can have the it because they can't because everybody has their own kind of it, but they can't have your it. Does that make sense? Okay. The ghost writer, vengeance will be mine. Spirit is saying, stop suppressing your anger. Stop suppressing your fury. Stop suppressing the part of you that has felt wrong and spirit is saying turn that vengeance into your power transmute that motherfucker hot or not and make that shit shake and for some of y'all a motherfucker has been fucking playing with your energy trying to manipulate you and shit and spirit is like you are not a love and light practitioner bitch cut that shit out you work with your both hands you are two-handed motherfucker use the other hand and make some shit shake does that make sense 
he, this motherfucker got a chain. What we was talking about, we was talking about them chains on your ass. And what he do with that chain, he turned that motherfucker into a weapon and whiplashed the motherfucker with that shit. Turned him and melted, burned the motherfucker. Do you know what I'm about? This shit hot like lava. He ready to fuck a nigga up. Do you know what I'm saying? And you need to understand that it's okay for you to get in that energy if a motherfucker want the smoke. Okay? They don't always want the smoke, but when they want that smoke, they could get it, okay? And spirit wants you to understand that when that wilderness call, okay, when that deep primal energy call, it's okay to let that motherfucker out, but make sure your consciousness is present. Don't be blacking out and shit, doing stupid shit. Make it calculated. And just because somebody is cute don't mean that they won't come out and show you a little something that you didn't see before. Spirit wants you to understand that you're a fucking warrior. You're a warrior. And you must do it. You can because you must. You must defend yourself. You must go to the next step. You must take the next mile. You must rest. You must take care of yourself. You must do your self-care so that you can replenish yourself and suck the fuck up. You must fucking cleanse your energy so that you can be right the next day, right the next time, right so that you can defend yourself and remove yourself and get rid of those in those like, oh my God, y'all, the word is escaping me. But when negative thoughts, intrusive thoughts, when negative thoughts come into your head and then they are just penetrating and beating your fucking ass like you can never do A, B, and C, and D. Sometimes intrusive thoughts are just evil eyes. Sometimes they're a part of negative work that people are sending you. And spirit is saying, clear the fucking shit, bitch. Why the fuck are you letting somebody hit you when you need to just turn around and backhand the ass? Like, yes, we can take care of it, but it's time for you to show your true colors. And it's time for you to let a, fuck, a motherfucker know, like, I'm not about to play with, with you on this shit. Get your fucking shit together. And when you leave a motherfucker behind, spirit is saying, stop looking bad, wondering what shit could have been like. What the fuck you got left out here? What did you take with you to get your shit together? Where are you about to go? And what are you about to fucking do? Stop playing these little bitty games with yourself talking about, oh, you know, but I could have handled A, B, and C. No, bitch, you wasn't meant to be there. Now, let's look at the bottom of the decks, okay? Right here, we got Storm, Unleash the Thunder. Okay, okay, Shango. Shango is coming hard, bitch. Shango is coming hard, okay? Storm is ready to fucking kick some ass, bitch, okay? She ready out here to kick some ass, and she like, shit, bitch, if you want this shit, I'm about to... I'm about to come down. Don't be mad because I struck you, bitch, because you're going to be zapped like fire, okay? We got that Ten of Pentacles, okay? Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So Spirit wants you to know, hey, boo, life is literally about to get really fucking good if you get your shit together, okay? And then sensitivity. So Spirit wants you to understand that you are a rose, you're beautiful, you're emotional, you are an empath, you have amazing psychic abilities, but you have to understand also that rose have thorns. And if you handle that motherfucker the wrong way, what you gonna get? Cut. That's what's going to happen. You're going to get cut by that shit. And you're going to be like, God damn, like, what the fuck? But this is exactly what needs to be happening. And this is exactly how you need to be uh, letting people, let the shit be known and let people understand that they just can't be fucking around with you. Okay. So now I am going to get us a song. Okay. That I feel, let's see. Hit three times, I heard. If the number three three three, if the if the number three two three means anything to anyone here, also the song that came up was Bravo Tobe Nuengi. Y'all, I'm not good at pronunciations, but and then also earlier what played was Black Leaves by Kurt by Kirby. It, that's my ancestor song, so I fucking love that song. Like, ah. okay. So let's pull some charms, guys, and see what else Spirit has for us. I feel like Spirit said split the deck on this one and let them see it. So we have, oh, bitch, we got a Thanos mode. <laughs> that shit, all that I seek is within my grasp, okay? So if you guys hitting that Thanos energy, I heard, 
I heard not now motherfucker can stop me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. So let's see what we got here. All right. We have some mushrooms. So I do feel like if any of you guys use these things to get answers, like if you guys are um, go and do medicine for answers, you might be being called to this. I also see them being opposite of each other. So I feel like something that you're not seeing and you need to make a different perspective. The spirit is trying to show you a different perspective of a situation. I have the red robin. Red robins, and there are also um, around, like across from each other. These two are giving me the energy of spirit is, your ancestors are also communicating with you on how to move to the different perspective like they're giving you kind of anchor points to move around the situation so you can understand what's going on now we have the mermaids here and one of them was facing down the other one is facing up so i feel like you're starting to get an emotional grasp on this situation so that you can understand how you feel and how the outside situation the outside world is also having you feel now we have the sun and the cloud so this is giving partly cloudy and i'm i'm hearing like it almost feels like you're not in the sun because there are clouds in the way and spirit is saying those clouds are just the internal resistance and as you move them the day will become sunnier and sunnier so don't don't allow that to kind of like deter you and then we have the buddha love so I feel like right now you are attempting to understand how to be in an unconditional love space or how to be secure in your love at this moment, okay? And then we have this uh, this compass and it's giving like which direction to go. You're intuiting which direction to go. And I don't remember what stone this is, y'all, but spirit is telling me that this is a heart stone so this is going to allow you to get more in touch with some courage that you guys have with the lion energy okay so i feel like what comes with this new perspective is going to bring you courage and with this other perspective that you're moving to here you are coming into some type of knowledge. Acorns are associated with oak trees and oak trees are associated with the creator spirit, okay? So the fact that it's an owl wearing an oak hat, I feel like you're about to get some type of divine wisdom and is completely and utterly like creator spirit led. And they want you to understand that when life gives you lemons, bitch, make lemonade, okay? The angels are teaching you how to stay secure. This is giving root chakra energy. Being secure in yourself, root, rooting yourself different, reparenting yourself different, right? Here with the unicorn, everything that you are looking for is possible right now. It's possible. You got the elephant here. Elephants also bring wisdom, okay? They have one of the best fucking memories of all animals, okay? Then we have our worry bird, okay? And a worry bird is some, is like uh, a charm that you can speak negative thoughts and like all of your worries to. And then basically it will take those worries to the spirit realm and to help you get them solved so i feel like there might be a good journaling exercise for you guys to write down your uh worries your problems write them all down and ask spirit to help you with them now something that i do want to say with this is that the fact that the worries and the ancestor bird are so close together that's giving to me and it's divided here by this um, charm that says through thick and thin it says through thick and thin spirit is saying we are with you through thick and thin you do not have to worry about us uh, trying to hide your worries from us we care about you and we will handle these 
Um, we will help you feel more secure. Don't feel like um, this is a conditional situation or conditional relationship. Now we have this dragonfly and it's turned up like upside down. Um, and it says imagine on the back. And then on the front, we have this beautiful um, color. So I feel like with this, Spirit is saying, imagine what life can be like. Um, we know that you have worries. We know that things are kind of moving a little bit slow, right? The turtle was turned on its back. So that's giving like you feel a little bit stuck in place. Um, the turtle moves really slow. The Spirit is saying we're moving slow that, so that we could slow down your manifestation so you can get exactly what you're wanting because some of the stuff you asked for before is not what you want now. And you're starting to realize that, yeah? And then with this crystal here, I feel like a lot of this is bringing both money and heart chakra and also your roots. So we're working in roots, heart root heart chakra but you're also using your solar plexus to move to different points um around your mentality your mind um and shifting your perspective when you shift this perspective it is going to unlock so much for you and i'm hearing in three weeks time you'll be at a different place that perspective will give you the door you need open okay all right so let's see it, what spirit has for you these are like the little tell charms from um the deck so i'm gonna read these to you dear wow you've lost <laughs> oh this is like a tooth fairy so it says dear you've lost your tooth and left it for me to find and because you're so special i left a gift behind remember after every meal to so brush your teeth just right when you lose another tooth i'll be back um that very night i feel like spirit is saying like here you have uh made space you have given something that meant something to you and now you're giving it to spirit spirit says i will replace whatever you have taken away whatever you have sacrificed whatever you have said i'm i'm no longer doing this so that i can have a b and c right? Or that I have space to receive what I need. Life is a journey. Each day is a journey. We take one step at a time with friends to support us on each challenge as we climb. Whatever direction we go and no matter what comes our way, we, may our journey through life bring us happiness each day. Okay, now I'm getting this song, Fuck You Me by Gunna. Like, he's like, man, bitch, I'm gonna fucking go get this shit, okay? You ain't gotta worry about me. Like, I I done dealt with niggas in the past who went shit. You know what I'm saying? They set me up for a break. And, you know, I swerved the fuck out that shit, but goddamn, like, that shit really had me fucked up. And it had everybody looking at me sideways, but then I really realized who the fuck was here for me and who them fuck niggas was trying to smile in my face and shit, right? You have understood that and you have swerved out the way for this shit. Spirit is like, keep your mind right, okay? Now, I had Lucky Elephant twice, so I'm only going to read it one time, but I want you to understand that it is very significant for you. And it says, I have a Lucky Elephant, and I want you to know he is my good friend and companion wherever I go. His trunk is always pointed upwards, and even if ever I am stuck, he helps me through anything, giving confidence and good luck maybe i am superstitious and maybe you are right have my little um hat but to have my little lucky elephant brings me nothing but delight my finger was in the way so i feel like you guys this elephant is super lucky and it's going to help you bring in confidence okay i feel like the ancestors are also pulling forth a lot of confidence and luck for you in the in this next realm okay so i am going to ask them is there any other messages to come through <sighs> okay so here are some basic messages that spirit wants you to get they may or may not be related to this reading one get more sleep to eat more greens okay you need to eat more nutrient dense foods right now um, drink a lot more water, okay? You guys are going through energetic upgrades and it needs to happen like now, okay? Be open to receiving love 
from new relationships that you haven't received before. Some of y'all have been cultivating new relationships, but some of those new relationships turned out to be duds, like we said before. But some of them are starting to grow and bloom and you guys are starting to get close. And this may be a loving relationship or a friendship platonic that I feel like pay attention to the people who are willing to reciprocate you and don't keep giving energy to people who aren't willing to do so. Okay. Spirit also says some of the people in your life come with lessons. So it is important that you finish out the lesson before you get rid of them. So what does that mean? That means if someone is coming into your life and you see they got a lot of shit going on and you're like, I want to deal with that because I see the lesson up front. I've been dealing with you for a couple of weeks and I see what I am attracting. I don't want that shit in my life, blah, blah, blah. Spirit is saying, go ahead and figure out what those things are that you feel that are toxic or whatever. Look at the situation the way that it is. Understand what it is. And it's not necessarily your responsibility to tell them and be blunt about it, but it is your responsibility to learn the lesson. And if you can tell them as you're exiting also, that's helpful for them. Because if you missed me with that lesson, then now they have to go learn that lesson with somebody else. Do you know what I'm saying? So at least if you tell them a little something, they have the ability to learn that lesson from you as well. Even if it was something quick, when they go into the next situation, they can learn it faster as well. Because we're all out here being students and learning from each other, right? Anything else is very hard for you. Spirit wants you to know that your money is going to be good. Like, I think some of y'all just have money worries and they're like, the money is going to be good. Pray Psalm 8 every day. For some of y'all, y'all need to like start using Psalms or start using some type of affirmation or some type of prayer every day or a mantra. If you guys work with Ganesh, use a Ganesh mantra or a Lakshmi mantra. To Ganesh moves, removes obstacles and he helps you get to the vibration you need to bring forth abundance in your life and Lakshmi brings forth the abundance, okay? But make sure you don't have a dirty house or you don't have like, the word that I wanna say is like broken things. Like if things break and you're not gonna fix them and you say you're gonna fix them, but it's been two and a half months and you haven't done anything with it, throw it away. Throw it away and replace it because you're not gonna fix it, okay? And that's going to allow you to get rid of things that are holding negative broken energy in your life so that you can be, you can have more energetic space and actually physical space to receive more shit, okay? So I love you guys. I'm glad. I'm so grateful for you guys being here. May you continue to rise up, okay? And continue to balance out your below, okay? Because as above, so below will continue to thrive, continue to rise to our highest occasion. And don't forget to continue to keep moving with that highest eye. You feel me? Because if we ain't doing that, then what are we doing? Okay. I love you guys. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one.